Hello, my name is Dr. Nagesh Dhadge. I am consultant of respiratory medicine, Manipal Hospital, Baner. I lead the program of pulmonary rehabilitation in Manipal Hospital, Baner. Many patients of chronic lung disease suffer from symptoms of breathlessness, cough, fatigue, and poor physical performance. The treatment of chronic uh, pulmonary disorders usually involves medication in the form of inhalers, which are highly effective in relieving symptoms and also to some extent reverse pathology. But beyond medication, there is one more modality of intervention called pulmonary rehabilitation. Pulmonary rehabilitation has been shown to reduce symptoms like cough, breathlessness and improve physical capacity of patients. This program consists of two parts. One is disease education and second is breathing exercises and aerobic exercises. During this program, we generally give lectures on various topics which are related to patients' disease education, like what to eat, what should be the diet in chronic lung disease would be like, what are the ways the patient can on his own address increased breathlessness at home and also give some information on how this program benefits their symptoms such as breathlessness and cough. Pulmonary rehabilitation has been shown to reduce rates of emergency hospitalization in patients suffering from chronic lung disease. At Manipal Hospital, we have, along with our physiotherapist, a team which provides structure pulmonary rehabilitation program. Hello, my name is Dr. Neha Badguzar. I specialize in cardiac and respiratory physiotherapy. So I'm currently working as a physiotherapy department head at Manipal Hospital in Baner. So uh, at Manipal Hospital in Baner, we are uh, conducting a pulmonary rehab program. Pulmonary rehab programs are usually our multidisciplinary programs. So I would like to talk a little bit on the exercise component of the program. So whenever a patient comes to us, see all patients are different, they are unique in their own way. So through a primary assessment and pre-testing, we are able to find out what is the problem list of the patient and what are the areas in which we need to work in order to improve the quality of life for such patients. So different components of the program are that we like to focus a lot on improving the breathing pattern, uh, strengthening of the respiratory muscles. If they have complaints like breathlessness or cough, we teach them various strategies in which they can help them, you know, tackle all these conditions in a better way. Along with that, we train them for, uh, you know, techniques like uh, active cycle of breathing technique, cuffing techniques and other bronchial hygiene techniques which are very useful for patients with chronic lung conditions. Along with that, it is very important for us to also make sure that the patient has a maintained physical fitness. What happens to patients with lung diseases is that as a result of breathlessness, their mobility becomes restricted. When a person is not moving much, naturally the lung capacity also reduces, which in turn leads to breathlessness and leading further to restricted mobility. So most of our patients with chronic lung conditions have some kind of impact on their daily activities. So by strengthening their upper body and lower body muscles, we make sure that we are able to restore maximum function and improve their daily activities. Along with that, we also see a lot of patients who are geriatric, who are elderly and issues like imbalance and uh, incoordination are very common with such patients. So a certain amount of work is also done on improving their balance, their gait pattern, their walking pattern so that we are able to actively prevent falls and help them get better. 
So how does a pulmonary rehab program work? So I would like to explain a little bit on the exercise component. See, pulmonary rehab programs are always tailored therapy. They are specifically designed as per individual needs of all our patients. Each patient is unique. Each patient has a different areas in which they need to improve, has a different problem list. So how a physiotherapist helps you with pulmonary rehab is that they are going to uh, tailor the exercises and protocols as per your needs. Let me share something regarding the structure of our pulmonary rehab program now. Once a patient attains a certain level of steady state with the disease, as in the disease is in a controlled state, then the patient is referred to be enrolled in pulmonary rehab. Whenever a patient enrolls, the first thing that we do is that we like to start with a pre-assessment. So our pre-assessment includes a test battery, which includes some kind of a exercise tolerance evaluation. Along with that, we also have some kind of respiratory questionnaires we like to assess for our patients. After the pre-assessment is done, we start with the exercise program. So the programs are divided into various you know, modules. So first module is for four weeks. We have six weeks and eight weeks. We also offer one introductory uh, package for pulmonary rehabilitation that is for one day. So once the patient has enrolled, we have done the you know pre-assessment. We like to call our patients and schedule the exercise sessions twice every week. So each time the patient comes in for the program, we have a patient education lecture which is conducted by our pulmonologist followed by a physical exercise session which is conducted by the physiotherapy team. So twice a week we schedule these sessions and rest of the days we like to give a certain amount of homework to our patients also which they have to follow throughout the week and we also provide them with a physical activity diary in which they are going to note down whatever kind of physical activity they have done throughout the week. On completion of the respective programs that is four, six and eight weeks we also do a post-assessment for our patients in which we are able to clearly see what kind of difference the therapy has made. So the program is like a training for the patient, you know, to follow it throughout their life going forward. So let me explain to you the components of the physical uh, activity sessions that we have in pulmonary rehab. We always start with a, you know, set of warm-up exercises which are followed by breathing exercises for strengthening the respiratory muscles and other techniques which are required to improve the breathing. Breathing exercises are then followed by physical exercises that is strengthening for your upper body, lower body muscles, your core and back strength. Some of the you know plans or programs also include a training for balance, gait training that is training for walking and also a lot of assistance and guidance is provided to the patient in order to improve their daily activities and improve their quality of life.